in this video, I just want to show you my new blog. It's new, so I don't have that many articles on there yet, but I do have two, at least for now. And um, you will see the link to my blog in the description box. I just did this article yesterday on um, Dewan Gullery and his story of being shot unarmed by a cop act after begging this cop not to shoot him. The cop shot and killed him anyway, if that's not the most cruelest thing ever. So you can go out there and see this and I will be updating it a few times a week. It may not be every day, but a few times a week. And you can also leave your comments and let me know what you think of my article. Um, and yeah, you can say it sucks if you don't like it. I mean, that's perfectly fine. I can take constructive criticism as long as it's honest. And, um, you know, and once I have enough um, patrons where I can bring a few of my subscribers on, I've had two people so far let me know they would be interested in writing for me. Once I have enough patrons and I can do, uh, you know, pay you for articles that you write for me, the articles will go in the blog. And then, of course, you will get credit for anything that you write for me. Um, but also, no, that that is something off in the future. I still only have 33 patrons, so I don't quite have enough yet where I can start putting some of you to work, but it is something that I do intend on doing in the future because ultimately I want to be able to do um, videos using my very own content or the content of the people that I hire, of course. So I just wanted to show you this. It does exist. It's Lisa, L-I-S-A, Cabrera, C-A-B-R-E-R-A -E dot blog. B L O G Lisa Cabrera dot blog, but I will leave the link in the description box so that you can click on it and go out here and see my blog. And this is on WordPress, by the way. All right, now let's get into the story that I want to send you. And this just go to show you uh, Jews are. Caucasians. I, I don't look at them as anything but uh, more Caucasian people. Um, and the heroin is also impacting their neighborhood as well. Um, does heroin overdose signal a bigger problem for Brooklyn ultra orthodox? Absolutely it does. Whenever you have a Caucasoid community in the U.S., you got a drug problem there. And, and I'm not over exaggerating. It is the truth. The public health crisis of rampant opioid abuse has reached the insular ultra orthodox community in Brooklyn. Uh, Malky Klein, a 20 year old ortho, uh, ultra orthodox woman, from Borough Park died of a drug overdose last month, the New York Post reported. Jewish volunteer ambulances were called to the client's home um, on June 24th after Klein's mother found her unconscious in bed. Within an hour, the doctors had pronounced her dead. We're definitely losing more people to drugs. There's no question. Yankoff Berman, director of the Crown Heights Drug Prevention Group Operation Survival, told the Post, it's getting worse in the U.S. and it's getting worse in the world and it's affecting our community. And he's right. He's right. But wherever you see any of these Caucasoids, you can best believe there's a problem there with drugs. That's how bad this epidemic has become. You're talking about 20 years of building up to this point where they are now, and there's no end in sight. So just to show you how far gone this is, this is an article that came out last uh, August in the Jerusalem Post. Jerusalem is also facing a drug problem that's pretty major. 
And this is one that had started in the 80s. And it is big now in 2017. All right, so they're having a lot of problems right there in Israel. Again, the Jews are white. So, of course, they're going to have these problems within their community all around the world. But the U.S. actually has the biggest problem on earth with um, heroin, opioids, and fentanyls, um, and carfentanyl. But here you go, ladies and gentlemen, Jerusalem over in Israel also facing a drug problem. So I'm going to leave the articles in the description box along with my blog so that you can go out there and look at it and just give me your honest opinion about my article. But please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can, ladies and gentlemen, please make a donation to my channel. Peace, family.